Hi, I'm your local Green Schools Officer, Rob. And this Marine Week, we've chosen to champion five marine animals. The puffin, the crab, the walrus, the ray, and the killer whale. Join me for our draw along sessions and learn to draw each of these five animals. Hi everybody, welcome to Draw Along with Rob for Marine Week. Uh, today we're going to draw a ray. So what you'll need is a good pencil, a sharpener in case the tip goes on it, a rubber in case you make any little mistakes, and some colours to colour it in afterwards. Now I'm going to use a pen because it will come up clearer on the camera for you guys, but again you guys should use a pencil because it's easier if you make a mistake to rub it out with a pencil. You can't rub out a pen. Okay, so we're going to try and use the entire page as much as possible. Uh, so don't be drawn just all in one corner. Start and use the entire page. So to start with, we're going to start at a point here. And we're going to come down like a little start of a triangle then straighten off and go right the way across the page and then loop up into a little curve like this at the other side. So that's going to be the start of the body of our ray. So to fill in the rest of the body, we're going to start our triangle, like I said, and bring it up. We're going to stop it about there and we're going to go a little loop, a little curve for where the eye of the ray would be. Now we're not going to see that eye because it's facing out the other direction, but we'll do another eye here shortly. So we're going to continue the rest of the body, big curve all the way back. So we're bringing it so it's nearly touching, but not touching this line here. And we're continuing it out and following our curve up. And then we're bringing it to a point at the end. So this is the body of the ray. Now that might look funny for the moment. We haven't put in the wings and we will do that shortly. But what I'm going to do next is I'm going to see this. We had this curve for the eye. We're going to follow that curve. We're going to come down a little bit and we're going to do another curve like this. And that's where the other eye is going to go. Okay. And for the other eye, we're going to do a little circle, kind of an oval shaped circle. And we're going to do a little black one inside, like a C upside down. And that is our eye. Now, beside the eye on our ray, we have a funny thing called a spiracle. Or it's kind of like it's gill or it's nostril. And that's going to be a little triangular shape here. So we're going to go a little line here. We'll bring it down. And then we'll go a little line here and we'll bring it back up. Okay, so that's the spherical. Now, as I said, when we see a ray, we think of its big wings. So the next thing we have to do is give our ray its wings. So we're going to start just in beside the eye here. And we're bringing it all the way up in like a wave kind of shape. And we're bringing it all the way back down to the body. Okay, so the wings, they kind of fold over when they're moving in the water. So we're going to put in a little triangle shape here to show you that it's folded over. Okay, and we're going to show the edge of the wing by putting a second little line all the way up. And we're going to bring that all the way around to the point here. Okay, so that's our first wing. And our second wing, it's going to be much more folded over. So we're going to make it look a bit more rounded. So we'll start here again near the eye. And we'll come all the way down and around, much more rounded and back up. And as I said, so we're going to have a bigger shape, triangle shape, more like the fin on the back of a shark. We're going to come up like this and we're going to bring it back to the curve. So we're curving it back. Okay. And we want to show that that's 
it's not just tin it has a, a it, it's it's a thicker layer so we're going to bring in our second line again to show that it's not just paper tin we're going to continue that up and around like that so we can show we have the wings we have the body and we're nearly there believe it or not so the other thing that we have on our ray is that it kind of uses little dots to, to camouflage itself when it's hiding in the sand. So we're going to do a few of those. Little circles. And they can be anywhere really. I'm just going to throw a few. But yours can be different because every ray is going to have different ones. Okay. And we're going to continue them onto the wings. So we'll do a few down here. And we'll do a few up here. And the other thing we want to show is that the rays, they're like its fins. So they might have little lines here to show that it's like a fin. So we're going to do a few lines just like this. All the way down on this wing as well. And that is our ray. So you can have a lot of fun colouring in.